in this video we will be doing some practice problems with expanding. So here are some problems that you can try and then you can pause the video and then I'll put up the answer key and then I'll work through each one individually. So here are the answer to those practice problems and uh, we're going to start with the first one. Alright, the first example problem was x plus 2 times x plus 3. Multiplying the first term with the first term in each expression gives x squared. Then to multiply that same first term with the second term in that exp expression is 3x. Plus, we're going to add a 2x as we move to the second term times the first term in the next expression. And then finally, 2 times 3 is plus 6. And so 3x and 2x will combine. And so we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. The second example problem was x plus 4 times x minus 5. Multiplying the first two terms in each expression gives x squared. Then multiplying that first term times the last term in the second expression gives minus 5x. And then moving on to the second term of the first expression, we have 4x. And then 4 times negative 5 is going to be a minus 20. And then that will simplify to x squared minus x minus 20. So for x minus 3 times x plus 1, x times x is x squared. Then x times 1 is a positive x. So now the first term in the first expression has been multiplied with both terms in the second expression. So we'll move on to the second term, negative 3. So we have negative 3 times x, which will be minus 3x. And then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So that will simplify to x squared minus 2x minus 3. The next problem is x minus 2 times x minus 2. x times x equals x squared. And then we have x times negative 2 twice. So it will be minus 2x minus 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 will be a positive 4. So that will equal x squared minus 4x plus 4. The next problem is x minus 1 times x plus 1 x times x equals x squared. x times 1 is x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And the negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. The x's will cancel, therefore giving x squared minus 1. This final problem is a little bit more tricky because you can't use FOIL. So we're just going to use the method we've been using of multiplying the first term in the first expression by all the terms in the second expression and then moving on to the second term in the first expression and so on. So therefore we have x squared times x and x squared times 3 which will give us x cubed plus 3 x squared then with x we have x times x which is x squared and x times 3 which is 3x and then moving on to the negative 2, we have negative 2 times x, which is minus 2x, and negative 2 times 3, which is minus 6. And that will simplify to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video and you want to see more, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.